Um, when we looked at it again, we, th we felt that the short-term boost that you would get uh, from lowering rates in terms of either easing the debt burden or in terms of stimulating the economy uh, is, is not, um, if you weigh that again with some of the uh, longer-term unintended consequences, uh, it, 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 it's not, a, it's not a, um, an efficient trade-off at this point. Um, part of the reason is, again, if, uh, we don't doubt, again, the recovery has been slow. It's been sluggish, uh, but, it's, but it's there. But if you look at the reasons why the growth and, uh, has, has been sluggish and the recovery has been so slow, it, a lot of it has to do with um, the slower recovery than expected recovery in tourism in the past year. A lot of it has to do with uh, slower than recover, expected recovery in exports um, and also, uh, very importantly, uh, slow disbursement of the budget. Um, uh, if you look at, for example, uh, because the, they had, uh, the government had, had delays in terms of getting the budget passed. If you look at the, the kind of um, the foregone GDP uh, from the delayed budget, it comes out to both from the last quarter of last year plus the first quarter of this year, it comes out to be about 0.8% of GDP. So it's a good chunk. If you look at the reasons that have caused the, the growth to be that sluggish and, and the recovery not to be that strong, it doesn't have so much to do with things that are sensitive to interest rates. Um, and, and again, when, so we, we balance all, take those considerations to account. We felt that, again, that the, um, the current rate was, uh, again, supportive of the recovery, getting things back uh, within, within the target ranges that we've set, and is also consistent uh, with trying to get an orderly delivery and getting that balancing act that you mentioned between um, not raising the, the debt burdens for households too much, but at the same time, not encouraging uh, people to take on too much new debt. Because if that happens, then that, that orderly transition of household debt that we'd like to see uh, is not going to happen.